Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspi's Hobbyland coming at you with a 10 box inner, pick your team number three of 2018 Panini Classics Football. Big thank you very much to all of you here on this list. Here on Wednesday the 30th, 10 box pick your team, it's an inner case from a fresh master. There's Dustin with that last spot mojo, Seattle Seahawks. Now that master case is too big. So I just left it right out there, but you'll see you'll see me on camera opening that one up. We're gonna roll the die. One, two, three, four, I think it's top and bottom. One, two, three for the top, four, five, six for the bottom. And all the way over there, it's six. So it'll be bottom or right. We'll figure it out. All right, so there you go. All right, let's take the hoodie off. Get ready to work here. All right, so you can see number four written right there on the box. So that'll be for the next break, which is coming up directly after this one. This is break three, obviously, as you can see right here. Let me move this paperwork out of the way for a second. And let's get this popped open. That's right, TJ. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right over here, and then ten right over here. So there's our ten boxes. I'm actually going to move a couple of these over this way so I can put the list right over here. All right, I think we're good to go. I think I got all the supplies I need too. Excellent. Just as a refresher, we're looking for one autograph and one memorabilia card per box on average, as always. Here we go, good luck everybody. I think I'm gonna keep that, I had a checklist open, I need that trash can too. And let's keep a checklist open. I'll drop the checklist again for you guys. It's cardboardconnection.com checklist right here. And let me pull up another checklist for me too. Um, Brandon's asking about Origins football. No, I do not. I think that generally comes out August or September. So let's keep this. So we'll also be going by this checklist. I'm going to drop in the chat by groupbreakchecklist.com, who actually have the uh, the college players in their uh, associated with their pro teams. All right. Good luck, boys and girls. Here we go. Nice design this year with classics. I like the uh, 
the team names and the little pennants right there. And I feel like this is uh, is loaded with some some more old school guys. I feel like more than previous years. I think it's already the end of May, ladies and gentlemen, and I feel like we'll blink, and then next thing you know, there'll be mini camps and preseason and preseason games, and then before you know it, the fall and football. Be crazy. All right. Good luck, everyone. There's Brian Dawkins. Some of the refractor versions of this are numbered. Some blank cards here too. I love these little stickers as well. Set that aside. We'll do it. Th these are the same teams, but we'll do a left right randomizer. I'll leave that out there to remind me. And we'll breeze through these. Now, if I miss a numbered card right here, our shipping team will usually catch that. And I'll try to catch as much of those as possible. But when they're sorting it, they should be able to check any I missed. Our first autograph is. Numbered, 88 out of 99, Derwin James. Derwin James with that one. I don't know where he goes. Derwin James goes to the Chargers. Let me actually write that down to help out the shipping team. So Los Angeles Chargers. Put that right there. That goes to uh, Dwayne with the Chargers. All right, so let's breeze through these again. There's Tony Gonzalez to 50. So those left-right cards will randomize left and right at the end unless they are numbered. There's the Magic Man, Domishkowski, out of 299. Breeze through that. We'll sleeve these up and we'll get these top loaded before they go out. We're looking for one more relic, I think. There's DeAndre Hopkins to 25. Those lower numbered ones, 25 and less, I'll top load immediately. Awesome. There you go. Texans, obviously. That'll be for Bulldog fan. More stickers. And Jimmy Garoppolo, gold. That card is gold. Fifty six out of sixty five. Dustin, let me look on the I don't remember, so let me read the item description. It says no veteran base or college base card ship, but all SPs, variations, chrome cards, autographs, and relics ship. There you go. Straight from the item description. Duke Dawson out of two ninety nine. Leave that up, set that over here. Got a little more here. There's Samaj P. Ryan to 99. And Thurman Thomas is our relic, I believe. It is. Can collection swatches. Thurman Thomas for the Bills. That'll be for Andrew K. Nice, and the rest, there you go. Box number one in the books. All right, next box.
Good luck, everybody. Is there any is there any big football news that's happening right? Now? I feel like it's pretty quiet on the on the football front after the draft. I think, I think most everybody, most of the bigger names have gotten signed already. My brain has not been in football mode at all. It's been baseball mode. It's been in basketball mode. A little bit of hockey mode. But now that now that basketball is essentially over, with the with the uh, the NBA Finals already over, ladies and gentlemen, your winner is the Golden State Warriors. They beat the Houston Rockets. So there, that was your NBA Finals. Golden State Warriors are your NBA Finals champions. I think they're. I think the Warriors are playing some exhibition games after this, right? I feel like they're playing some exhibition games against the uh, against the uh, Cavs, LeBron James, and and a collection of players, just just for exhibition. Is that numbered? It's not. Uh, what has to be a sweep, Eric Jennings? And there's Stephon Diggs out of 175. What the Warriors will drop game three? What in the exhibition in the exhibition series, Brio? Oh, I mean, I don't think people really care about the exhibition series that's coming up. The postseason exhibition series. Out of 25, 3 out of 25, Bryce Bobo. I don't know I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, the NBA season's over. It's done. Warriors won. Bryce Bobo goes to the Seahawks, by the way. Um, Bruce is saying that the Dubs don't have Iguodala for the exhibition series. I don't think they'll need him for the exhibition series. Let him recover for next year. That's what I say. Let him let him get his get healthy for next season. Go golfing, Iguodala. Season's over. There's Michael Irvin, Canton Collection Swatches. Hey, Warriors were able to win the finals against the Rockets without Iguodala. I think they'll be okay in the exhibition series that they're about to play with the Cavs. Finals already won, though. Congrats to your champs, your NBA champions, Golden State Warriors. There's Baker Mayfield. That's out of uh, 182 out of 299. Right there, that goes to the Browns, of course. There's Dak Prescott to 299. Out of 50, Luke Falk, 44 out of 50. Eric Dickerson, nice, out of 299. Tony Gonzalez out of 99. And Jalen Samuels is your autograph. 86 out of 99. Jalen Samuels from NC State. And the Jalen Samuels will go to... I haven't memorized where Jalen Samuels goes to yet. That goes to the Steelers. Oh, that's right. Steel Curtain often talks about you. Let's see. Does that go to Steel Curtain? Yes. There you go, Steel Curtain. Steel Curtain's probably shouting at his at his computer. Steelers, Joe, come on. All right, there you go. Another box in the books. Oh, 
Let's start from this side here. Next box. It's great, ladies and gentlemen, that the NBA Finals are now over and that the Golden State Warriors are your champions because, because now we can focus on hockey. Which is great for hockey. I'm, I'm, I'm sure the NHL is glad that the NBA uh, Finals were over so quickly with the Warriors beating the Rockets in the, in the NBA Finals to close out the season, which has been a great season. Because now everyone can focus on the Stanley Cup Finals. Which came out, which started with, started in a, with a bang. Very, very exciting game. Everyone's been talking about the the that preseason or the pregame opening for the Vegas Golden Knights. I, I thought I thought that was kind of crazy. I was like, I was like, man, half the ticket cost would be for the show that you get to see. A lot of a lot of places in Vegas would be charging like 50, 60 bucks for something like that. So I think I think if anyone who's going to those uh, to the Stanley Cup Finals games in Las Vegas are definitely getting their money's worth. All right, good luck everyone. Next box. That one is numbered, so it'll be randomized separately. Classic clashes for sure. Tom Brady, Ben Roethlisberger. So that'll that'll be. Set that over there. I wonder if they do. Do they do something like that every pregame? You can go to game. You can, I'd go to games just for that. If the Kings go out there, I can go see others like show and a, and a match. And we've got rookies, James Washington. Nice gold chrome. That is four out of 65. James Washington also goes to the Steelers. I have my list up already. Out of 299, Des Bryant. Out of 299, the Wentz Wagon. And we've got Kareem Hunt is your relic for the Chiefs. That'll be going to, who's got the Chiefs in this? Gabe, Gabe with the Chiefs. Another sticker. And we've got Dick Buckus out of 299 points. We got points too. And we got Kenny G. On card autograph. I think that's your buyback autograph. Six out of twenty. Cause this is from it says rookie on it. This is from last year's playoff. Playoffs. There it is. There's Dick Buckus. And everybody has a shot at the points. If there's more than, uh, if there's another points card that comes out, um, we'll collect them all together, randomize them as one lot, as a winner take all on the points. A Two ninety nine, Troy Fumagalli, and there you go, another box in the books. All right, so that Lions buyback autograph goes to Brandon, right? I think he had the Lions. Yeah, Brandon Thomas has the Lions. Oh, is, is that is that the second time you got a buyback on? Well, that's nice. I think they're, they're only one per inner case, I think. Next 
box. Oh right, you got you got the Tim Brown. That's right. That was a nice one. Packs to go, and we'll dive into the next box. All right, good luck, everyone. We got a dual relic, classic combos Joe Theismann, John Riggins. There's Marshawn Lattimore, your defensive rookie of the year. Nice sticker there. Out of 299, Ladanian Tomlinson. Nice. Chargers edition. And your autograph is Sony Michelle. 134 out of 189. 199. I believe that Georgia running back went to the Patriots late in the first round, right? Or early second round? Yeah, Patriots is confirmed. So that goes to New England. You were not in the break. Let's keep those right there. At a 99, Carlos Hyde. There's Michael Gallup. There's our Jets champion schedule back in 1968. And Denzel Ward, these refractors are generally numbered. There you go, out of 175. Denzel Ward for the uh, Browns, I believe. Carlos Hyde, Niners edition right there. There's Odell Beckham Jr. out of 299 for the Giants. And then we've got a Michael Irvin, Troy Aikman. A couple of Boss Man's favorite players right here. Classic combos, Michael Irvin, Troy Aikman. Two-color dual relic, Cowboys. Andrew K. with that one. Boss Man being an Eagles guy, definitely not a fan of those guys. All right. He likes these guys, though. Ron Jaworski and Carson Wentz. There's... The Eagles era's insert, which will go to the Eagles, of course. No randomizer. Three out of 50, Jordy Nelson. Still Packers edition there. And your last box. We got Paul Horning out of 299. We got Billy Price out of 299. And that is that. All right. Yeah, I did see that, Eric. The uh, the the uh, Hoskins foul tip into the face on Monday. That was very uncomfortable. There was a even worse. Even worse was I think that day, or maybe the next day, or maybe that same weekend. There was a a Tigers player who foul tipped one off hit the ground and went right into uh, right into his crotch area. <laughs> Needless to say he was he was writhing in pain. I don't know if he I mean even with a cup still <laughs> still stings. If anyone has ever had that. But uh yeah. Both 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 look like that would hurt. I forget who the Tigers player was, but there is there is a video of that. If you 
you want to if you want to if you want to talk about squirming. here. Good luck, everybody. Hey. Velo gave with the, uh, I guess you could say the count of that Tiger Players was 2-0. The mouth hit, I th but I think, I, th I think both would be, pr would be pretty painful. Either, either one. All right, there's Joe Flacco to 99. There's Thurman Thomas, Thurman Thomas relic for the Bills, another one for Andrew K. I would say Eric both would smart, that's for sure. There's David Johnson. I feel like there's another sticker card there it is. Oh, these guys. As a Raiders fan, this was uh, they beat the Raiders there, and they beat the Raiders there. Right. No consolation for me for that season. All right, next next one. I love those stickers, though. There's Ian Thomas out of 299. I think that was a nice touch in this set. And there is Lenny Moore. Nice old school autograph out of 50 to the Colts. That'll be for Ron. Ron Hollins with that. Nice. There you go. Nice season. Nice career for him. We got Green Bay. When did they use this logo? Huh. That's kind of cool. There's AJ Green, that's numbered to 175, 141 out of 175 for the Bengals. Paul Harris with the Bengals. There's Emmett Smith, 299. Out of 299, Michael Thomas. Uh, yeah, you are, Gabe. You've got the Kansas City Chiefs. This is Classics 3. Wait, did Reese, so wait, did Reese Hoskins end up fracturing his jaw after that foul tip, Evan? Or are you saying that he just fractured his jaw right now? Evan saying Reese Hoskins just fractured his jaw. Steve Young out of 50, 20 out of 50 for the Niners. Out of 299, Luke Keekley. You just got to alert that he, well, the foul tip happened the other night, I think last night or two nights ago. So maybe the diagnosis now that it was a fractured jaw? Wow. All right, so maybe that one hurts more. That's right, Classics 3 right now, ladies and gentlemen, but as TJ pointed out, Classics 4 is next. Um, if you remember the group Classics 4, TJ saying, what a, what a great group. They were. They had that hit, Spooky. Yeah, <laughs> up next on K Jaspy, playing nothing but the hits. Wow, okay, so I guess so I guess the report now is that it's a fractured jaw. So maybe that does e EJ, maybe that does hurt more. Maybe the yeah, maybe the swelling had to go down. They looked it up and then they're like, 
There it is. There's like, okay, it's fractured. Oh, man. Okay, that's that's pretty bad. <laughs> that can't be. That can't be a good. That can't be fun, right? Do they have to like? I don't know how. What happens with the fractured jaw? Do you have to wire the jaw shut? Is he drink? Is he eating food out of a straw for a couple of weeks? All right, Quadri Henderson out of two fifty. And another Thurman Thomas relic for the Bills, for Andrew K. Andrew, if we keep getting more of these, you might be able to put the whole jersey together. Wow, there it is. Oh, that one's my, the, oh, I for, yeah, I forgot about that. There's Jimmy Garoppolo. Nice, that's out of 175. Out of 299, Rayfield Wright. And your autograph is Eric Dickerson. I was like, that card's backwards. Could that be an autograph? It is. Legends Auto, Eric Dickerson for the Los Angeles Rams. That's EA Sports. It's in the game. Nice. And it's... Uh, Nine out of 15, that's a nice low number right there. Just 20 off the jersey number. All right, nice. That was, that was kind of unexpected. I saw the name on the back. I just thought it was just gonna be a parallel. I like the auto even better. All right, out of 99, Javon Wims. Whimsical card. Out of 299, Arden Key. He's, Eric Dickerson has a really nice autograph, too. See, the old school guys, always nice penmanship. Ryan Tannehill out of 25. The kids these days, terrible penmanship. It's the texting. I blame the texting. All right, there's Tom Brady. There's the 85 Bears and their march to the Super Bowl. Golden Tate out of 299. And that is that. Tannehill to 25 goes to the Dolphins. Uh, that'll be for Shannon Johnson. There you go, Shannon. Tannehill. How do you guys think Tannehill is going to bounce back? I feel like he was on the cusp of maybe turning a corner, maybe something like that, but I feel like it just, after that preseason injury, just kind of derailed any momentum he had in his career. But I think the Dolphins are feeling, feeling good about it. Let me grab some more top loaders really quick, folks, for the relics. I've got plenty for the autos, but not enough for the relics. Let me grab that. Four boxes left, Classics 3. I just pushed the button, so it should oh, be hot. Thank you. I forgot to push the button. All right. Oh, I just need to grab another thing, too. for the next next uh, classics break as well should be enough for the rest of this break Eric Jenny's EJ saying he's gonna miss the uh, oh, he's gonna miss Jarvis Lant Tana's gonna miss Jarvis Landry a bunch yeah what did they do 
What do the Dolphins do? I still haven't caught up on all this news. What do the Dolphins do to uh, address that situation? Landry being gone. Do they have another? Do they have other receiving options? Did they get wide receivers in the draft? Like, what was the story there? I mean, they traded away Jay Ajayi. They, Jarvis Landry's not there, so they must be kind of reconstructing that offense somehow. The question is, how are they reconstructing that offense? All right, there we go. Next box, four boxes to go. Just a little over halfway there. We've got about another 20 minutes to go. And we'll be done with this. And then after I tuck this break away, there'll be another hour-long break. There'll be another Classics break, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll do the second inner. And then that'll be it for Classics for the time being on jazbeeshobbyland.com. But we've got plenty of football, basketball, baseball, soccer, all on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Plenty to break tonight. I'm sure we'll go through. So I see 13 orders coming in. So after Classics 3, we'll go through some orders. And I'm sure some breaks have sold out. We'll put that on the schedule. We'll start Classics 4. And then, uh, and then we'll do the other breaks. And we'll keep pushing on from there, ladies and gentlemen. So thanks for joining us. It's a busy night already. All right, my homies, Patrick Mahomes, to lead us off. Robbie Anderson out of 299. We've got the, I don't think we've seen a Saints one yet. This is from 2009. There's their championship season. There's Bradley Chubb for the Broncos out of 175. He's going to be a terrifying force. Out of 299. Ted Johnson. Hi, Ellie. Uh, no, no Redskins at the moment. Maybe this? No, but more Eric Dickerson. This time out of 25. 22 out of 25. Ken Collection Swatches. Two colors in that little window for EA Sports. It's in the game. Going Scoring big with the Rams in this break. There it is. Game used material as well to go along with that autograph you just got, Eric. Nice. Here's Calvin Johnson for the Lions out of 99. Josh Rosen. Blank. And we see you've got the Cowboys championship run back in 1995. There it is. Oh, yeah, maybe there was a... I think you're right, actually. And Jim Plunkett from our Raiders. Award winner's autograph. Oh, back, back in Super Bowl XV. It's, it's been a minute or two for the Raiders. Chase from my Ra Chase with my Raiders. There you go, Chase. Oh, yeah, this was the, this was the Eagles one. I, think, I don't think Bossman cares as much about that one anymore. Now that they've got another Super Bowl under their belt. Charles Clay out of 299. Yeah, you know what, Vince? I think Vince is right, Ellie. And now that I think about it, I think there was a... Was it, was it a Kirk Cousin? Was it a Joe Theismann-John Riggins duel relic? Theismann-Riggins duel. Ah, there you go. So Bossman confirmed me it was a Theismann-Riggins duel relic. There you go, Ellie. I don't know. I don't forget what it was numbered to, but so there were there was something there. Thanks, Vince. Thanks, boss man. 
the memories. All right, three boxes to go. Boys and girls, uh, I want to hear it. What? Uh, who's your surprise? Who's your surprise team this season? There's always a surprise team, right? There's always a team that was like, I, th I think Jaguars probably last season where everyone was just like, oh, uh, you know, they looked good on paper, but it really came together fast. They won a lot of games and their defense looked amazing. So, I mean, the season before, I, think, I, think, I don't think they won very many games. So I think all of a sudden you blink and you're like, holy crap, there they are. So like, now Rams would not be a surprise anymore, Dustin. <laughs> we saw we saw what they can do last year already, but who's going to be the surprise this season? Because there's always a team that like, only won like four or five, six games last year, you know? And then all of a sudden something clicks, they put it all together, and then they, you know, then they win a bunch of, uh, and they win a bunch of games, maybe make the playoffs, you know? Brandon Thomas says Cardinals. Matt says Chargers. I think the Char Chargers showed they were pretty good last season. I think if they didn't win those four games in the beginning of the season because of the kicker, who, who probably accounted for at least two of those losses? I think they would be. I think they would. They they would be a lot. They would have been a playoff team. They finished the season very strong. Bron Broncos, yeah, they might be the guys where it's like didn't win very many games last season, but then then win a bunch of games this season. Jets maybe. Jets actually kept a lot of games close last year. Out of ninety nine, Kevin Tolliver the second. So Jets. If something clicks there, that could be a surprise team. Because they've been slowly building up that defense, which is pretty good. They've got great coaching. They The Jets were always competitive last season, even in spite of all their losses. There's the Steelers championship run back in 1978. But I could see the Browns. Brown, Dustin, Dustin and Ron were talking Browns. I could see that. That's a, that's a surprise team. I mean, there's no, no, nowhere to go but up. There's out of 50 Peyton Manning. Nowhere to go to go but up for the uh, for the Browns, right? There's Mo Hurst, Maurice Hurst. Uh, that's for my Raiders out of 199. So that goes to the Oakland Raiders. Who has my Raiders? Chase with my Raiders. There you go. I think Mo Hurst, if I remember correctly, was the guy that uh, had the, some heart issues. He, I think people were saying he could be a first or second round draft pick, but he tumbled all the way to like fourth or fifth round or something crazy like that because teams were nervous about that heart issue. The Raiders taking a chance. I hope he's healthy. And ready to go. There's Mike Singletary. Legends out of 15. Three out of 15 for the Bears. Daniel Patera with the Bears. Nice. Uh, Michael M. saying he's got four sleeper teams for us. He can make a case for all of them. Niners, Texans, Lions, and Raiders. There's out of 299, Phillip Rivers. I can see Niners. Texans... I think is kind of chalk because you're like, okay, if Deshaun Watson gets back there, then you can see that. Uh, but I, and I could see Raiders, obviously me being a Raiders guy, but uh, what about Lions? See, I don't know if the Texans count because, because if Deshaun Watson was healthy, that'd be a playoff team. I don't think they'd be a surprise team. But I want to hear what you say about the Lions. I don't know too much about them. Actually, I don't know why I'm just leaving this up. I don't have to. It's out of two ninety nine. I'll get sleeved up later. Classic combos: Carson Wentz and Zach Ertz. What's everyone's lines arguments? I guess I just don't know enough. I think they did okay last season, right? Just counting wins low. There's the. Uh, Saints championship run again back in 2009. Pile those stickers next to each other. 
We've got Todd Gurley, grrr, out of 25. There's Todd Gurley out of 25 for EA. All right, two boxes to go. T Chang Bears might surprise some people. Yeah, I'm talking like a I'm talking like a team that was not a playoff team the year before. Probably were under 500, not a playoff team obviously, under 500, and then becomes a playoff team this season or borderline playoff team. Like, two years ago, the Jaguars did not finish very well. And then the following season, you know, they were in the playoffs even won a couple games. You know, so that's what I'm saying. Yeah, well, that's the great thing about football. There's a, you know, I think more so than a lot of other sports and with, with so few games and that sort of any given Sunday kind of, kind of concept and just the general parity that, is, that the NFL has – you know, that could, uh, that does make it exciting every year. Red Tank Lions should have been a playoff team this past year, but but poor calls against the Falcons in the Falcons game. Um, and he hopes that uh, Patricia, being new head coach, will, will, will be the extra boost there. Brandon regarding the Lions saying there's got, they got the gunslinger in the backfield. They got a running back out of Auburn, Golden uh, out of Auburn. They got Golden Tate, Marvin Jones. Okay, all right, all right. So they got weapons. Gilo saying maybe Broncos since they got the QB now, but he doesn't know if Case Keenan will can repeat that. I think the Raiders were sub 500 last year. They only won like six or seven games last year. Oh, were the Lions nine and seven? See, I have Dustin's nine, nine, Lions were nine and seven last year. I guess you're right. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I feel like there was a very quiet nine and seven. There's the Steelers championship run in 1978. So, okay, fine. Lions don't count then. There's Christian Kirk out of 299. And your autograph is John Kelly from Tennessee out of 199. Is that a Titan maybe? John Kelly is a Ram. Sorry. Oh, that, that's right. EA is getting the Rams because of his Tennessee John Kelly right there. So there you go, EA. So you get the LAR, L-A-R, L-A Rams. Um, Mike's asking if the Bengals can be sneak. I think in my head, my, my criteria – uh, my criteria is in 2017, the team was under 500, and I'm talking about teams that could potentially become, uh, win, go not only over 500, but be potential playoff teams, that kind of jump. Because I think you're right, Mike. I think every, every year there's always one, two, or three teams that were under 500 the year before, but then were playoff teams. Jaguars, example from last year, and um, under 299, Terrell Davis. And uh, I think the Bills made the playoffs, and I don't, I don't think they had a winning record the year before. They weren't even 500 the year before. It's the Saints championship run again, 2009. Yeah, I pulled the Saquon Chrome out here. That's going to ship anyway. But I pulled it out just because it's a little little more especial. And I think we haven't seen any Saquon Barkley autographs or anything like that yet, or any parallels for that matter. There's Cortland Sutton out of 175. The refractor ones are numbered on the back. There's 
There's Golden Tay, we were just talking about him, out of 99. Out of 299, Demarius Thomas, we were also just talking about the Broncos. And there's Rayfield Wright, out of 99, Legends. And your Relic, out of here, is Michael Irvin, Canton Collection Swatches. And the last little bit here, kind of like that Polaroid sort of look there. All right, last box coming up, and then we'll have one more 10 box break of classics, ladies and gentlemen. Classics 4, that old classic song, Spooky. Classics 5 was the band, right? I thought it was Classics 4. Classics 4? Is it Classics 5? There's a, there's a Roman numeral in there somewhere. TJ was saying it was Classics 4. I'm pretty sure it's... It's going to be Classics 4. We'll have to look that up in between breaks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we made it. Last box. Um, stay tuned for another Classics break where we will uh, be discussing more football. So I'll, I'll need your opinions in that one, too, while we're doing that break. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for hanging with me on this one. This is Classics number three, Pick Your Team 3 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. We've got more football. We've got more basketball, base, brand new basketball on the site, jazbeeshobbyland.com. We've got Leaf football on the site, soccer, baseball. What else do we have? Everything, uh, autographed baseball by Fanatics. Hockey, we've got hockey on the site. The cup hockey almost filling up. So let's get all that going on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Eric Jennings saying they opened the roof for the Falcons' new stadium for the first time? They never opened it? Oh, wasn't there a problem with it? <laughs> I think it was like a $100 million problem in that billion-dollar stadium. That must, that must look cool, though. It looks like a, like a camera aperture thing. It wasn't fully operational, says Tej, but now that the Emperor came to the stadium and he said, we'll get this done. We'll make sure this battle station is fully operational. And then the guy said, we'll double our efforts. And on they went. Now it's fixed. You had to open it by hand. Is there someone that asked to crank the thing? All right. There's our autograph right here already. Penn State's Mike Kosicki, 149 out of 199. And where does Mike go? Mike goes to the Dolphins. So maybe he, I think he's a pass catching tight end, right? So maybe he'll be, a, we were talking about Tannehill earlier. Maybe he'll be the, one of their new weapons. I know, John Oakery is like, Miller Park is two decades old. They've got a roof they can open and close whenever they want. Yeah, but their roof is a lot more fancy, John. They've got a, they got a fancy roof. There's Stefan Diggs. It's the one that, that opens up like a, like a camera lens. A lot of moving parts. Throwing around Ozzy Newsom. Sorry, Ozzy Newsom. Ozzy Newsom out of 299. There's Jim Kelly. That's out of 10. Five out of 10. Nice. Andrew K with that one. I know, Teach. Braves and Falcons both got new stadiums last year. I'm convinced that the Braves are just going to get a new stadium every 20 years, right? They're just like, eh. Fulton County, old. You know, we'll go. We'll go ahead and get a, get a new one for the Olympics. And then after that, there's 20 years later, they're like, eh, that one's not working for us either. We'll go ahead and get a new one. So I'm sure in about another 20 years, they'll be like, we'll just build another one. Let's try, let's try the southeast part of Atlanta now. And just, they'll just move it around all quadrants of Atlanta. I think that's what they'll do. There's Deshaun Watson, composers out of 99. over here just talking about Matt Stafford award winners Nick Foles our, our relic is Kent collection swatches LT 
The original Lawrence Taylor. There go that goes to Dustin and the New York Football Giants. And then let's see what else we have for everyone. Maybe some parallels, something like that. Some low number. We haven't seen a train whistle in this break. I haven't had a train whistle all week, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we just started today, but still, I haven't seen one all week. All right. Is that a refra nice Baker Mayfield refractor? 93 out of 175. There you go. Yeah, Atlanta to – exactly. They moved counties. I'm just saying, Eric Jennings, they're they're just going to get a new stadium every 20 years. 20, 25 years. They'll, get, they'll, they'll be over SunTrust in about 25 years. They'll be like, we're over it. It's not working out for us. New stadium. All right. There you have it, boys and girls. That is your break. We've got a couple randomizers. We've got a left-right randomizer, even though that's the same team. There are a couple with different teams, I think. Oh, like they're the classic clashes are different. That one's numbered, so we're going to randomize that specifically, and everyone has a shot at the 250 points. Okay, so let's go back to this screen here. Let's pop open ram.org. Let's get some new dice, and let's get three lists going. One two and three you're welcome brandon thanks for getting in the action so we got it left right everyone has a shot at the point so from dustin down to ellie everyone has a shot and then the 21 out of 99 tom brady patriots and steelers big ben on the other side will be a randomizer and we'll randomize each of those lists seven times six and a one one, two, three, four, five, six, and a one. Seven times. Right side will get them. So the right side will get right here. Uh, actually, it'll probably be these classic clashes. I think the eras are all the same team, but the non numbered classic clashes card, right side will get those. And speaking of that numbered one, or actually, let's do the points first six and a one. Seven times. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and a one. Seven times. Name on top is Brandon Thomas. There you go, Brandon. 250 points coming your way. And last but not least, seven times for that numbered card, Pat's Steelers. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a one. Seven times goes to the Patriots, and that'll be for... Karen with her Patriots. There you go, Karen. Thanks very much, everybody. That was Classics. Pick your team number three from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Number four, which is sitting right out there, will be coming up next. Thank you. Bye-bye.